Paul, you are living here for like six years and you're a diver. How did you start this job? Um, I, I was not related with the sea at all until uh, in 2010, uh, 2007 I moved to an island yeah. for work. And from there I got hooked to the diving, started diving and dropped my previous job and become a dive master from there, become a, after that an instructor and uh, sometime later I, I ended up here in Curacao working as a dive instructor. Yeah, so you're not only a diver, you're also joining a very special project. Can you tell us about it? Yes, uh, in 2015 we initiated, as Ocean Encounters, we initiated the Coral Restoration Foundation in Curacao. Mm -hmm. This is a foundation that works with two corals that are endangered, the Staghorn Coral and the Elgor Coral. Uh, those corals, we grow them in nurseries. Uh, right there okay and uh, we then once they grow big enough we can we can go back to the reef and restore them yeah and so it's not only here but no there's as well a foundation in in Bonaire in Colombia and Seba okay so it's a really big project it's a it should be a, a larger scale and, and can you tell us then what do you exactly do then uh, we once we got the permit to yeah. collect some calls we we actually went out we collected lines of these genotypes what we call different genetic uh, lines of these same corals yeah we hang them on their nurseries and we let them grow once they're big enough we either cut them again so we're basically we're making more babies yeah yeah, yeah. by asexual reproduction or cloning we put them there and then let them grow once they're big enough either we repopulate our nurseries or we put them back in the core uh, on the reef once they're back on the reef we hope that when the time comes they will have their own babies and start crossing lines and make new lines new genetic lines of uh, corals yeah that's wonderful it is wonderful. it's really and great so far we've been out plant we have out planted more than 2,000 corals in wow. the last two years and we expect to have another 2,000 this year before yeah. May 2018 so why is this so important the human impact is getting worse and worse yeah the ocean is suffering from many uh, many things and the corals have been suffered especially here in the Caribbean since the 70s yeah um, where there was a huge decline due to disease that affected the corals and some disease as well that affected animals that helped the corals like okay. the sea urchins yeah that killed they say an average in the United States the coast of Florida about 95 percent so of the corals died. That's really lot. Here in Curacao we're still lucky. There's still places where the corals are growing pretty well and healthy. Yeah. But we we're seeing this human impact. Not only for those diseases, but as well development, bat anchoring, bat fisheries, uh, or bat uh, managing of fisheries. Yeah. Uh, bat divers, not david, that not divers itself, but the bat habits. So we see this human impact. So there was a study, it's curious because it was the Netherlands that they said, okay, if we don't do anything here, in the year 2032, all the corals will be gone. So we really need to do something. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. a good way to, to make a difference. And volunteers can also join a little bit the project, right? Yes. Yeah. We got people certified, more than 50 kids last year. Uh, Local divers are coming as again once a month to get it uh, to to help us with the, all the work in the nursery. And there's a lot of tourists as well that are now coming here more for the project because yeah, they see that there's there's a way to get in the water to go diving, yeah. but as well at the same time do something. Not only take advantage of the sea, but give something back. Yeah, that's really great. That's driving a little bit of the what we call it the volunteerism or the ecotourism. Yeah. So I guess you really have a very special job then. It was something to play in the beginning and now it became a passion. So I try to spend as much time with the corals. And yeah. again, at the end, there's nothing out of the blue. I'm just an underwater gardener. So. <laughs> 
underwater the garden. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. So uh, you're living here now for like six, seven years here on the island. I'm just wondering, what, what do you like so much of Curacao? What is it? It's a uh, the, the 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 location is is great, but the diving, the reefs are beautiful. Yeah. We have when I first came here. And coming from different places where you cannot always dive, there's always, for instance, Europe, right? There's a season for diving, yeah. which is great. There's a yeah, season sure. that is not so good. It's too cold. Here we can dive mm. all year round. We're off the the hurricane belt, so we're away. We don't have hurricanes. We have a little bit of a storm, a little bit of a shower here, here and there. But we can go in the water every day. We can take people diving every day, and that's what we became. Why I became a, uh, an instructor. Yeah, great. great. Well, I think you really have a wonderful job and you're doing a great job. Well, thank you so much for sharing this story. You will. Thank you and good luck with everything. <laughs> thank Thanks. You.